behold a faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord set over his household. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this Mass, especially if you're participating via the internet at come out into an empty church. Nevertheless, it is the feast of St. Joseph, spouse, husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and we must celebrate the feast. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus is de- Joseph is depicted as a good man, a working carpenter who trusted in God. He received God's message, who shared with him God's will for him and for Mary, to whom he was engaged to be married. Luke's Gospel describes how Joseph took the newborn child as if he were his own. He was with Mary when, on the fortieth day after the birth, Jesus was presented in the temple, where every firstborn male is designated as holy to the Lord. The adoption of Jesus by Joseph also established Jesus in the descent of David to accord with the prophecy that Israel's deliverer would be of the house and lineage of David. So as we offer this Mass, we pray for parishes, religious institutions under the patronage of St. Joseph. We pray for Christian families. We pray that we, like Joseph, may be obedient to the Father's call to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the Father's right hand to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. God, our Father, who from the family of your servant David raised up Joseph the carpenter to be the guardian of your incarnate Son and husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, give us grace to follow him in faithful obedience to your commands through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God now and forever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus the Lord speaks, When your days are ended and you are laid to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. It is he who shall build a house for my name and I will make his royal throne secure forever. I will be a father to him and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. His dynasty shall last forever. 
I will sing forever of your love, O Lord, through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. His dynasty shall last forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. His dynasty shall last forever. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always. For him my covenant shall endure. His dynasty shall last forever. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. They are happy who dwell in your house, O Lord, forever singing your praise. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash in my iniquity. Then me. We pray, O Lord, that just as Saint Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you, for this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God 
and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch, Justin, our Archbishop, Martin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, gave life to the world, Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe. Good and faithful servant, come, share your master's joy. And with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.